Michael Schmidt is sailing his boat across the Greifswald Sound. He's already won the Admiral's Cup, which is the unofficial world championship among high seas yachtsmen. That was in 1985. Back then, he was in pretty good shape. I don't know. Why well, was? I still am. Just because I'm over 60 doesn't mean I'm past it. Nowadays, Schmidt builds yachts. He's the chief executive officer of Hansa Yacht, with a turnover of 135 million euros a year. But he's not exactly your jacket and tie kind of CEO. We're in the leisure business, not in finance. Our primary concerns are quality marine craftsmanship and sales. Suits are a masquerade. In our business, you don't make decisions based on suit or no suit. You have to know something about boats and then you can do a good job. After German reunification, Schmidt bought a rundown boatyard in the former communist East Germany. These days, he produces 900 yachts a year, one after the other. Schmidt is a relaxed boss, on first-name terms with the workers. He tries to maintain a balance between earning money and being a fair, socially aware employer. I think it's important for a businessman to be humane. We expect a lot from our employees, and we owe them something in return. There's a lot of ways to take care of your people. If they have real problems, then the business should help take care of them. For example, if they aren't properly insured and aren't getting enough money from their health insurer during a period of extreme illness, then the firm should step in. He's picky about his yachts. The priciest comes in at about a million euros. What kind of speakers are those? Uh, they're really cool. I want him too. Before Schmidt became a businessman, he was a rebellious youth of the 60s. In his hometown of Kiel and later in Hamburg, he spent at least 10 years living in communes. Even today, he favors grassroots democracy. His business is no one-man show. Everything gets discussed with the team. Final decisions, however, like the look of the new company brochure, are made by Schmidt alone. He's a self-taught businessman. He left university on day two. It was the early 70s, and people were only interested in getting some letters after their names to earn more money. I thought, this can't be it. Either you're good or you're not. If you're good, you can earn real money. If not, you may as well burn your degree. Schmidt is ambitious and open to new ideas. Since 2007, he's been producing motorboats as well to attract new customers for boat trips up the Volga or the Danube. He's already rejected million euro offers for the company. Selling would be unfair to the employees, he says. And somehow, you really believe he means it.